Hi and welcome to the New Paint Supreme tutorial. We will show you how to make a flyer. We will start with creating a new file. Should be 600 pixels in width and the height is 800 pixels. Before we start, we will need to prepare and adjust some images. We will open from the Resource folder and pick the Dancer JPEG. In this image, we will need to erase the background. We have already shown you how to erase the background with the magic wand. For the beginning, we will use this technique. So pick magic wand. Adjust sensitivity to 15%. Go here and just click repeatedly on the background until everything is selected. We will zoom a little bit here. If it is easier to select, we can also use the hand tool to adjust the position. Zoom out. Hit Command C on the keyboard. Then Command X on the keyboard or you can choose Edit Cut. Now deselect Command D. Now take a closer look at what we have done. As you can see there are little parts of the background left. We need to get rid of them so we will need to use the vector tools for selection. Choose Create New Shape. Bring Optimization down so you can have the exact shape you draw. Just draw and click here around the area you want to erase. Now click on the arrow tool, select the selection tool, and click apply. And our area is selected. Go to the image layer and cut this part. Much better, isn't it? Now deselect this layer, so in this manner we can erase the rest of it. Again, to our selection tool, apply, go to our image layer, command X, command D to deselect. This is a little bit slow procedure, so we will use for this tutorial an already prepared image with an erased background that has been erased in this manner. So we will open and save it as a PNG because it has an alpha layer transparent background. And we will take the selection tool and select the part of the image we are interested in. And copy it. Go to our flyer. 
we will save it as flyer so it has a proper name. We will choose paste in current layer and paste in the current layer. We'll, we will use the transformation tool in free transform mode. We will rotate it a little bit and resize it. Zoom out to have space to manipulate. Okay, we will transform it once more. We will flip it vertically, click the side, Okay, let's move it a little bit over to here. Now we will import a picture for the background. Right behind this layer. Name it Dancer Layer. Name background here. Save it. Use the Move tool to move it to the proper position. Okay, let's zoom to the part we want to work on. We will select a part of the image, but we are going to use the Mods tool so we will select this part and we will also add this small part. Then we use the paint bucket tool we choose this reddish color and something like this color. Fill it, then deselect it. And we have some more spaces here, but we will fix this in this manner with the transformation tool. We will fill this part of the image by transforming this area here, this area here, like this. Now we will add a layer and call it gradient. Use the gradient tool. Choose this one in the tool settings. Add some colors. Here. Add some maybe purple here like this. We will use Reflect Mod in Linear Type. Now just drag like this. Behind the Dancer, bring down the transparency like that.
Now we will add a new layer and call it Groove since it will be groovy. We will use this tool again, the gradient tool, but we will have to switch to the preset and change the color to almost white. We will adjust the settings like this. Okay. But we will use the radial type, but in a repeated mode, like this. We will add another layer. Okay, let's bring this one behind and the transparency down. This one also. Let's clone it. We will select it is in union mode already. Okay, select this also, and this. We will now invert the selection. Use the Erasure tool. Bring the opacity of the eraser down. Not in this layer, of course. We need to erase this one. Then select here. Okay, now we will clone this layer and bring it forward. Adjust the contrast a little bit. and erase some parts.
Okay, we can group these background layers by clicking this button. And now we will add one layer with some lights. We will use the brush and go to the tool settings. Choose this shape and this fall off. Adjust the size. Maybe it's too big. Adjust the opacity. Click here to undo. Click Command Set. We need to change colors. That's okay. Let's try another one here. And maybe one up here. And we will add a new layer. Call it Lights Behind. Now drag it behind the dancer. Add some more lights. That's it. Save it. We can group these layers also. Those dancers will not separate. Now you will see why we will add a new layer and call it Stroke. We will use the Curve tool bring down the optimization bring up the optimization and add smoothing Now with the arrow tool, we will edit these points.
So here we have a smooth curve. Let's find a smooth brush also. Apply. Maybe something like this. This is too big. Let's adjust. We will again choose the arrow tool, then the brush tool, and then apply to vector. Okay, we will clone this layer. Call it Stroke Glow. We will hide curving. And we will remove this drawing. As you can see, now we want to see it. Okay, we will change the brush color, change the size, change the fall off, change the opacity, and with the arrow tool, Now we have a nice glowing stroke around the dancer. Not exactly around, it's over, but we will make it around now. Use the magic wand in a new mode. In union mode and select. Around the dancer. Invert selection. Now just simply take your eraser tool. A bit of fall off. Go with a bigger size. Oops, not in this layer. Okay, merge these two layers. And now we can erase this area like this. It goes over and under and over and under. That's it. We can deselect it. So this is our background for the flyer. We can group it. And we can add some text. Choose the text tool. Pick our font and size of 90 pixels to start.
We can change the color. Like this. Now we need another line of text. And we will change the color to blue. and change to a nice font. Something like that. And another line, a smaller size like 30 pixels. Let's move it somewhere around here. Maybe make it bolder. It's a little bit too... Now it's more visible. Let's change the font to a nice font. This font's a nice font. Okay, we will use some vector tools again. Choose create new shape so it will be created in a new layer and choose ellipse. And we will go somewhere around here. Click the arrow tool and paint bucket. Choose the color, apply, bring the transparency down,
Okay, we will use this as a placeholder for our date. So we will use the type tool. The date is Friday, March 9th. match Let's change the font and size as long as it's text. Add in this one layer and this one. After the manipulation with the Move tool, these type layers are rasterized. So you can't add text anymore. We will use the vector tool again, and now we will choose rounded rectangle, roundness 20, let's put rounded rectangle somewhere around here. And apply paint bucket. We don't need to see this vector anymore. Let's
let's use the text tool again. Type. and drag to the rounded rectangle here. Let's try this font. Should be a little bigger in size, like 50 pixels. This is too big. Let's try 40 pixels. That's okay. So basically, we have finished it and saved the file. and export as a JPEG image for preview. And that's it.